in general, why does fasting help with PCOS? And and uh, and then uh, what kind of um, kind of success or results have you seen with fasting and PCOS? Well, fasting. So if so if if you understand and you you done a great summary. If you understand that that PCOS is caused by too much insulin, with that, which then disrupts your ovaries and your uh, expressions of hormones and your hormonal balance, if you understand that PCOS is caused by too much insulin, then it's easy to understand how fasting would benefit because fasting is the most successful therapeutic approach to lowering insulin. So every single time that we eat, no matter what we eat, whether it's good foods or bad foods, I always say this low calorie or high calorie, low carb or high carb, every time that we eat, we produce insulin. So if you're in a, in a state of higher insulin, you don't, you want to try to produce as little insulin as you possibly can. So fasting is beneficial because fasting is the most beneficial approach, much more so than any diet to lowering or helping to lower your insulin levels. So we explain this really well. Your fasting protocol is going to depend on a lot of things. It's going to depend on how much, uh, you know, what your goal is. You know, if you're trying to conceive, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to reverse diabetes, if if you're trying to regulate your menstrual cycles, etc. So fasting can mean a whole lot of things. It doesn't have to mean three days of fasting. It could mean intermittent fasting or time restricted eating, which is my, in my opinion, the epitome of intermittent fasting. It's the idea that we must eat and stop. We must learn how to do that, how to eat, feel satiated and stop, which currently with the processed foods that are that we are that we were talking about, it's very, very hard to eat and stop because, as you said, an hour later, you're hungry and you go and you eat again. So if you're a young woman with PCOS and you're trying to resolve PCOS, it, you really have to stop this constant feeding of the insulin beast, as I call it. Yeah, great, great points. So so maybe to kind of link that to some other things. Uh, and by the way, if, if anyone wants to learn more about kind of insulin resistance in general, I've covered that in other episodes, including um, an interview with Dr. Ben Bickman, <clears throat> excuse me, Dr. Ben Bickman in episode 18. So they can really get into that. But the, you made the point that um, <clears throat> that fasting is perhaps the best way to normalize insulin, um, as in a lot of us have insulin levels that are too high. Um, that that uh, statistic you threw out, eighty eight percent. I've heard that same percentage as probably the percentage of people that have insulin resistance. So it's probably from the same you know research. It's the whatever. same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it goes along with metabolic syndrome. So many people, most people have excess insulin. It it underlies not only PCOS, but there's a whole like family of conditions: type two diabetes, often high blood pressure, um, often obesity. Um, and it contributes to a lot of other problems too. And so that's why fasting can help with all these really common metabolic related health problems is because it can normalize your insulin level. And that's one of the main underlying kind of root reasons why fasting is beneficial to all these people, including those with PCOS. <laughs> 